Hey everyone, welcome back to Hobbies with Jose. I'm Jose Carbajal, and today we've got part four of our Bandai 1144th scale Millennium Falcon. Yeah, let's get ready to paint some details today. Thanks for joining me again, everyone. Good to have you back. So today we're gonna to be painting some details in. I've already got the figures laid out here, but before we start on these, I wanna go ahead and get some of the details into the cockpit. I do want to paint in some of the lights that show up on the back wall and on the roof and the sides. But because the paint that's on the wall right now, it's pretty much a black, and I want the colors to pop, I'm going to paint them white first. Then I'll go over them with the proper colors like blues and reds. So to accomplish that, I'll be using Tamiya's X2 Flat White. And I am using a toothpick because trying to do this with an actual brush would be damn near impossible. I'm not going to be concerned much with accuracy because the molding only goes into so much detail as far as trying to put every single light and button that's on the wall. That looks pretty good. Not the easiest thing to do on camera. And next up, we're going to work on our pilot, so I'm going to go ahead and get them cut off a sprue here. Chewie's already coming off one side. I think I'm also going to paint the, uh, the flat 2D figure. Maybe I'll want to display him outside the Falcon, I don't know. And of course we've got little BB-8, can't forget about him. Thirty-one percent chance I might lose them. <laughs> All right, put them to the side. 
I'm gonna sand them down a bit on the parts where they got cut off the screw, but I think I'm gonna start painting uh, Chewy right after that. He's probably gonna be the easiest one, I think. And I'm gonna start with a coat of this brown color, Linoleum XF79. Next up, we're gonna get the flesh tones painted in for the other pilots, and for Solo and Ray, I'm just gonna go with a standard Tamiya Flat Flesh XF15. And for Finn, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a lighter brown, NATO Brown XF68. Next, I'm gonna dry brush the lighter parts of Chewy's fur, and I really didn't have a paint that matched that dull brownish yellow, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix some paints to accomplish that. And I'm gonna start with some flat yellow XF3 and put in a couple of drops of the brown that we used on the interior XF72. And even though we won't see much of his back, I'm still gonna plop some on there as well. Pretty subtle overall, but that's just the look we want. Next up, we're gonna work on Chewie's bandolier that he has right across his chest. And for it to stick out, I'm gonna use a bit of a darker brown, which is just regular old flat brown XF10. And here I do want to try and be careful and just have the paint applied onto the bandolier itself. I think that looks pretty good. It does look different enough from the fur. Lastly, we're gonna add the silver bits onto the bandolier, and for that, I'm gonna use uh, some enamel paint, regular old silver by Testers. Not too shabby. And I do want to add just the smallest speck possible for his nose. I think that looks pretty good overall. At this point, he's ready for 
one final touch. And that's with a touch of black wash with Tamiya's panel line. I think I'm going to call it on Chewy. One down, four to go. And by now our white dots should have dried, so I'm going to start adding some color to them. since I do plan on leaving some white, so I'll add a couple of uh, reds and yellows as well. And lastly, just to finish this piece off, I'm going to add a bit more of enamel silver to it. Going back to our pilots, I'm going to work on Solo next, and I'm going to start painting his pants, which are a dark brown color, which I don't really have, so I'm going to just take regular flat brown, add a drop of flat black to it, just to darken it up. I'm just trying to make sure I stay out of the way of the hands, but I may have to retouch them up a little bit. once it dries up. Next I'm gonna work on the leather jacket and the boots and for that I'm just gonna use regular old gloss brown Tamiya's X9 and that should suffice to differentiate it from the uh, flat brown for the pants.
I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it, which doesn't look too bad. Last thing we're gonna work on is his hair. And for his hair, I'm gonna go with Tamiya X20 medium gray, which kind of has like a very light beige tone to it. And one thing he also has, which I almost didn't notice, is his belt buckle. So I'm gonna get a drop of silver on that. Okay, that was a little tricky. And to finish it off, I'm gonna use some brown panel liner instead of black, just so it doesn't get too dark. And there it is, I'm calling Solo complete. All right, well I think that is where I'm gonna end it for today. And when we come back next week, I'll go ahead and finish off our other pilots and maybe even start weathering down the Falcon herself. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care.